Welcome, Cancer, to your mid-September love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot, and feel free to subscribe. So we're going to jump right into your reading and see what's coming through. I am using the AF Tarot deck for, to bring in some energies. So we do have King of Cups, which is all about responsibility and abundance. And we have the Queen of Cups, which is you. So you guys could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is about being authentic, uh, using your intuition here, very compassionate. Sorry, too many cards. So you're coming up in your reading, male or female. And then we have the Queen of Wands. All right, so you guys could be carrying a fire energy or have fire placement or dealing with a fire sign. We do have three energies here, four energies. We have all the signs here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, oh no, we're missing. Who are we missing? We got Pentacles, Water. Oh, Air. We're missing Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so King of Cups and the Will of Fortune. Three of Pentacles. There we go. The Queen of Swords. A lot of people. Um, very interesting. Or it could be. Yeah, it could be a lot of people here. Um, or different energies that you're carrying you know what? let's let's get into it it's very odd to see that many uh cards all right so we have you coming in in the hangman position your person coming in with the tower very interesting so the tower is something's becoming stale somebody's refusing to change so this could be somebody's in denial Okay, uh, Ace of Wands is the challenge, and the Knight of Swords is in the mutual energies. So, air is coming in. Oh, yeah, strong air sign. Ooh, ooh, okay, we got a King of Swords in their thoughts right now. So, somebody's operating from a very, um, asshole like energy not a nice energy with the king of swords in reverse no no but they're coming off wanting balance hmm. they're coming off patient but they're not patient very interesting uh page of wands and five of wands what is this this is very very interesting okay you guys could be surrendering this person or not putting any more effort in this energy okay that's what i'm feeling and with this person i feel it's like they're acting like everything's fine like if you don't come towards them they're good but they're not they're upset they're gonna have a trigger soon or something that's what it feels like or they already had a trigger we have the high priestess with in reverse so that's about keeping secrets a lot of mistruths hidden agendas um this person could be keeping a lot from you here as to why you're moving towards a new beginning and surrendering this energy in the hangman position you don't actually have to be surrendering you could be surrendering a part of you know maybe the emotional part you could be surrendering this person altogether um or surrendering some something here um and it's to kind of push you in new beginnings and a new journey so with this person i feel they're refusing to change with the tower in reverse so things are becoming stale because of their behavior and I feel like you're already seeing the truth. They already kind of showed you everything that you need to know, right? And it's now like the challenge is, is to like start up this, this passion. You're not feeling inspired or really like magnetized maybe as you used to with this energy. So now we have the mutual energy of a knight of swords. So like this is like more of impulsive energy, rushed energy, um, things that are happening super fast. And so this can be happening super fast here. This person could be dealing with two other energies or a couple other energies. Maybe that's for you also. Maybe you're, you're putting yourself out there. But I feel like you're looking at somebody like very irresponsible, not reliable, not loyal, um, uh, not someone to really like take with you on this new journey, like someone that's solid, that has a future that can like be your, your, your partner, right? I, I don't feel that. I feel like this person may... Uh, be feeling a bit rejected but they're coming off as like okay I want things to be balanced and peaceful with cancer but in their mind they're being an ass so the king of swords in reverse is like 
um, very logical, super cold, bitter, upset, right? They're frustrated. They could be very harsh with their words, or they could just go like, like kind of play games in this energy, very strategic. And I feel like that's what they're showing you. Like, I'm fine. Everything's at peace. I'm good. But then what you don't see coming is by you being like, well, I'm not coming to you. You know, I'm kind of like, see what I had to see with you already. I already saw what I saw. Okay. And I feel like you're kind of like surrendering something here, having a new perspective going within in your inner wisdom and you're jumping to the fool because this person is obviously not like being honest here. They're not, they're, they're, they're keeping things and it's hard to emotionally attach to somebody or trust a person if they're already like showing you that, you know, that, you know, kind of showed their cards a bit, like they're not really trustworthy here. So yeah, balance is here, but I don't feel like that's what's going to be like stable. I think they're possibly keeping, you know, trying to keep their mind off the situation. Uh, page of Wands on what you don't see coming is some type of tantrum. Some type of, um, I don't know, just a little upset. Um, very frustrated, this energy is what you don't see coming. Possibly a message is coming in fast due to them feeling like you're not being like how you used to be. And then the Five of Wands is showing some type of argument, not seeing eye to eye. Okay, this could be conflict, competition, or something like that to where it's still hard to let go. So there could be a history here with you guys. You know, death. It's like hard to let go of the situation. See, this is still clinging to the past. This is like self, or not self, sorry. Uh, there's like change that is happening or change that is, is needed to happen. So there could be a feeling of like, mourning a loss or endings or feeling like it's ended or it's hard to let go either way it, this this foundation here i feel is more of you um so i feel like somebody is just like not wanting to end this relationship not wanting to end this partnership because there is emotion here because there's history so it's like something needs to change or it's it's gonna end right yeah, I feel like this person may be in their head. Oh, but we do have the judgment card. So they're hiding behind many masks. This is them denying themselves. It, there's a need for like to get a better understanding or maybe you're getting a better understanding of how this person operates. Um, Because judgment is pretty huge. Yeah, there could have been a past betrayal or something like that with the 10 of swords. And I'm just feeling like you're just not really trusting this energy anymore. All right, we have cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Yes. See, Mercury rec retrograde is uh, starts September 9th through, I think, October 2nd. We'll see. Um, so there's going to be a lot of changes. And it could be positive, too. But it doesn't always have to be, like, you know, bad. Uh, I feel like there's there's a like things may be coming into balance. Or I feel you're going to be getting the clarity that you need. Um, because it does feel like you're removing negativity out of your life, like you're saging or you're doing meditation. This could be prayer. This could be crystals. I mean, doing anything to kind of like maybe you're moving things around, cleaning your house, like just to cleanse your energy, right? Um, kind of like it, that's what it feels like with this person. I mean, with this situation or maybe what you're doing for yourself. Very spiritual. Yeah, and as you're cleansing and as you're like kind of surrendering something here the the triggers are coming in with this energy okay which i feel is what's going to happen because their mindset they're mad they don't like how things are playing out temperance is saying but i want balance and peace with cancer but that's not how they but it's like they're acting patient they're trying to do things in moderation but it's kind of just by them being like this or acting like this they're still not really making effort you know it's like, are you supposed to be doing everything? No, right? Yeah, something about today, present now in the moment. You guys could be experiencing this today, yesterday, or in the upcoming days. See, we do have a karmic third party situation lesson. So there could be something happening with a third party that they're having trouble with. Um, that's for some, not all. And that's what, like, they could be very, very triggered and then thinking about, like, I don't want to lose cancer. That's for some, not everybody. You would know about it. 
Um, for others, I do feel like this could be like lesson within a relationship or something that you're learning here about yourself. And like, that's why it's like easy for you to now go towards the fool as you're cleansing. Yeah, spiritual path awakening when it comes to this situation. Yeah, it could have been a, this person could have took you for a roller coaster ride emotionally. Okay. Uh, pulled on your heartstrings. We also have pregnancy and money entrapment Ooh, yep somebody is definitely scared panicked and something about a long-term relationship maybe they're thinking you have a long-term relationship maybe you found out somebody was in a relationship or they're still contacted with somebody um but i feel like this person is having some type of uh feeling just trapped stressed out okay they're definitely looking at something. Huh. Yeah, I feel like this person is thinking you're either moving on with somebody. Maybe they're searching to see if you are because you're not really making any moves here. Or maybe they don't. I don't know. They're, they're, they're being very strategic and stubborn. Very, very stubborn. But I do feel <coughs> this uh, something is going to trigger them. For sure. Yeah, we have release and change literally coming out for your energy. Release and change. I mean, that's, that makes perfect sense. There's some toxicity that you're cleansing out of your life. You're releasing, and that's what's bringing change into your life, okay? You listening to your intuition and everything in that way. Um, let's see what this person has to say to you. I was pretending to be someone else. Yeah, see, I feel a lot of pretending here. Like they're showing you patience, like, oh, I'm, you know, but they're really eager and like trusty, or I don't know how to say that word, uh, like playing something right here. I feel like I'm good, I'm not good enough for you. Maybe this person could be hard to be vulnerable. I will find my way back to you. There's so much I want to tell you. Oh, that one just flipped out. I feel empty without you. I don't know what I want. Very inconsistent too. Yeah. All right. Well, this is the message for you guys for mid-September. Um, so take what resonates. We have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil. A blessing will soon be revealed. So you guys have change coming in. You have some things to release here. Um maybe sacrificing or surrendering some things, you know, so you can like, you're unblocking some type of block, okay? And that block is like, when you release it, it's taking you to this journey. Like everything's gonna feel like clarity, okay? But it's, it's, it's something that you know what you need to release. It could be this person, the situation, something that you feel about them, your perception, I mean, anything, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Cancer. I hope you liked this reading. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.